Hello everybody, welcome to this video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make my Endless Love Skinny Scarf. This is an exceptionally long skinny scarf. 9 meters, 10 yards long. Which means this makes for an awful lot of big and luscious wraparounds. And that's really what I like about this scarf. It's a pure feeling of luxury when you wear this scarf. I'm going to show you how to make this. You're going to need one ball of Schepjes World to make it in any colorway. I don't have any balls available so I can't show you one because I use it to make this scarf. But you're going to have to use one ball of Schepjes World in any colorway you like in combination with a 4mm crochet hook. The pattern is a two row repeat that goes on and on and on till your yarn is finished and you have a very long and luscious wrap. Row 1, I have a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to chain 36. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 35, and 36. This will be the width of the scarf. 36 chain stitches. Now I'm going to come down and work a double crochet in the fourth stitch, so I'm going to skip the first three chains, work a double crochet in the fourth and every all the next chains also. I'm going to skip one, two, three, then in number four, let me one, two. You always need to check this good. One, two, three, skip, then in number four, work the first double crochet. And actually now you've already got two because that chain three here at the beginning also counts as a double. So you've got two doubles and continue and in every chain stitch work a double crochet. And that will give you 34 doubles in total. If you want to, you can also work 34 foundation double crochets here. Also good. If you want to, I've got a, a different video showing you how to make foundation double crochets. That's part of my crochet fundamental series. For the moment now I've just done the chain and then work the double crochets in there. Also good. Whichever you prefer is good. So I'm going to continue until I'm to the last stitch and then I'll have 34 double crochets including the chain 3 at the beginning. Row 2, going to work into these 34 double crochets we have now. I'm going to do a chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This counts as a treble. So this is your first treble. In the next stitch, also work a treble. Now just take a moment to look at your stitches. See that first little gap there? That's the first stitch. But these chain 4, they count for that. So you're going to work in that second stitch there. You're going to work a treble, so that's twice over. So not in the first, but in the second. Work a treble. So you now have two trebles in the first two stitches. Chain 2. Skip two stitches. And then work a treble in the next two. It's twice over. So we're going to skip one, two stitches. One, two, skip. And in the third, work a treble. Two, three, twice over. And in the next stitch, one, two, three. This you're going to repeat to the end. So chain two, skip one, two stitches, and then in the next work one double, sorry, a treble I mean, and then the next also work a treble. This I'm going to continue until I get here. I'll just make a jump in the video and then I'll just see you for the last part. So 
chain two, skip two stitches and work two trebles. Continue that until you're almost here. Almost to the beginning again. Done quite a few of these repeats now. You can see those nice little spaces there. Chain two for the last repeat. Twice over for the treble. And then skip one, two stitches. One, two, skip. And the next pick up. Work a treble. And now you need to work one more treble. You're going to work that on the chain three here from the turning, because that chain three is also a treble, a, a double crochet. It's going to work a treble in there twice over. You've got the chain three here. You just kind of stick your hook there in the beginning, somewhere at the top, and complete the treble. And that completes round row. Two. Row three. Let's start with the chain three. This again counts as a double crochet. And of course, turn. So this chain three here is a double crochet, the same as the chain three here when we started. So it's the same stitch. Now I'm going to work four double crochets in the chain two space. So that means you're going to skip the treble that you have here and in the chain four, chain two space work four double crochets. Three, one, two, three, and four. And just kind of spread them out a little bit. Four double crochets in the chain two space. We're now going to work a double between the two trebles. So not in either stitch, but between them. So if you open them up in that space there, we're going to work a double crochet in there. So between the trebles, work a double. In the next chain two space, work three doubles. One, two, and three. Again, just spread them out a little bit. You don't have them all stacked on one side. You're up to the next two trebles, and again, between the two, work a double crochet. So between them, so you can just easily insert your hook just between those two posts. And work a double. And this you're going to repeat until you're on the other side. So in the next chain three, two space, work three doubles, then a double crochet between the two trebles. Three in this chain two space, one between the two doubles. So continue that until you're here, and I'll just see you for the last part. Almost to the other side. You have one chain two space left, You're going to work three doubles in there. And that last chain two. It's one, two, three double crochets. You've got the two trebles left, You're going to skip the next treble, and in the last treble, which is your chain four here, You're going to work a double crochet. In the top of that chain four, just punch your hook in there. See then the top of that chain four and complete the double crochet. And that completes row three. Here onwards for row four, five, six, etc., you're going to repeat rows two and three. So row two and three you're going to keep on repeating until you're at the end of your yarn. You're going to finish with a row three repeat. So your next row is going to be a row of these trebles again. It's so going to start with a chain four, then work a treble, 
skip two stitches, work two trebles, etc, etc. And continue like that and then come back, work the double crochets and you're going to go on and on and on. Checkpoint, every row of double crochets should be 34 stitches. So that way you can double check that you haven't added or accidentally lost stitches somewhere. So continue with those repeats of round 2 and 3 until you have used all your yarn. You get a very long skinny scarf. Take a moment to block the scarf. It will help it to just open it up a little bit and make it a little longer and just get that pattern nicely visible. However, you'll notice when you use it is that it does curl in on itself so it becomes almost a bit like a necklace when you wear it. I can make for four, five wraparounds easy when I wear this this scarf and in combination with the jacket it looks really really nice. So I really enjoy this scarf, I use it a lot, I wear it quite often. I hope you'll enjoy yours also. Thank you for watching, I'll see you again next time.